Here's a quick disclaimer. I'm going to be a chatty Kathy in this video, so hopefully y'all are wanting to listen to me rant. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chrissy and this is Barefoot in the Garden. We're just chilling in the shade because it's like 81 degrees today. And is it just me or did it go from winter to summer? Like it just skipped over spring. It's 81 degrees today which is amazing for the garden because things are starting to sprout. Um, but I have some some changes since the last time y'all seen me. So if you're not caught up with my recent videos, I showed you guys how I was starting my seedlings under some shop lights inside since about the middle of February. So I finally graduated and I bought a greenhouse from Amazon. It's just one of those, one of those guys. It was about $200. It's a 12 by 7 by 7. Here, let me take you guys over to take a peek. So there she is. I'm super excited to finally have her because I can get my plants out of my dining room. I get my dining room back, which is exciting. So we can eat in there now and not just observe all the pretty seedlings. But I just want to take you guys inside just in case you're interested in purchasing one of your own. You kind of know more or less what you're going to get. So this is the brand up here. And as you can see, it has a little roll up door. Um, they did have a green one, but I just like the way the white one looks a little better. So it's secured by zippers. Let's go inside. I did notice that it gets really, really hot in here. Um, it holds the humidity very well. Close this side. The chickens have not discovered this yet, but I'm nervous about when they do. So when the wind blows, it does shake. You have to make sure that you stake it down. I did run some cylinder blocks around the doors and then I ran four by fours along the sides just to keep it from blowing away in the wind. I did have an incident where it was windy one day and it flipped completely over and I was afraid that these thin pipes would have bent or snapped, but they didn't. We got lucky and when I got it back in its final spot, I staked it in and it's doing pretty well. So like I said, I was really excited to get this guy or this lady. I'm not sure the name yet. I'm going to get one soon um, because my seedlings... Um, they just needed more light. The lights that I had and the amount of seedlings that I had, they weren't getting adequate light. So I was excited that the temperatures are finally up, that I could bring them outside. This is all that we have in here right now. A couple trees, blueberry bush, key lime tree, hydrangea. Um, we have some tomato seedlings over here, some fennel peppers which are kind of stunted i'm starting to worry about them um i didn't feed them in time which i think is what really stunted them i didn't give them their fish emulsion when they first set on their true leaves so i'm hoping that they'll catch up um, i'm gonna start a second round really soon just in case these guys don't work out look at this baby fern super cute and then over here, I just have some gomfrina, um, onions, some eggplant, another gomfrina, just a little bit, just a little bit. I still have some seedlings to move outside. I was just worried that the temperatures last night were going to drop below 40, so I held off on moving some of them out. But so far, so good. It's definitely protecting them from the elements, giving me a place to put them where they get full sun all day. And, oh, I forgot, I have another pretty lady to put in here. Y'all, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is a bulgumvia, it's a vining plant, and this is actually the variegated one. Look at those leaves the foliage on these plants are just so beautiful this color i couldn't i couldn't pass it up i mean i've seen like 
the hot pink ones with the dark green foliage. I've seen the yellow bougainvilleas. I've seen the coral bougainvilleas, but nothing compares to this. I normally don't pay this much for plants. I don't, I promise I don't. But um, I couldn't, I just couldn't. I mean, I couldn't resist. And it's a perennial. So she's gonna go in either one of the perennial flower beds in front of the enclosed garden. And the only way that I'll spend like this amount of money on a plant is if it's a perennial because in that case I feel like it's worth it because it'll be with me for a long time. So I'm just gonna put her inside until I find the perfect place for her. This is where she'll be. All of this lavender that you see, all these beautiful petals, they're actually not the flower. Those are called bracts, B-R-A-C-T. And um, the flowers are these little guys that come from the center. So the bracts are pretty much like a pollen pollinator attracting um, focal point. So they'll see these beautiful petals and they'll be attracted to the white flowers in the middle. It's just a beautiful plant. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. And I just got her home. So I'm gonna prune her up. I'm gonna take off some of these elongated pieces and I'm just gonna let her chill until we find her forever home. My first two years gardening, I didn't really have a secure spot to grow and start my seedlings, which caused a lot of failure um, in the seed starting department. I always just figured that putting them on a table in full sun would be good enough. And for a while it was, and for certain seeds it is, but not for all seeds. Some seeds need a little bit of babying, a little bit of shade, um, protection from wind and rain. So that really um, encouraged me to just go ahead and drop the $200 and get somewhere to start them because you're gonna lose money because you're gonna be wasting seeds. They're, the chickens are going to get to them, the squirrels, you know, there's always something that can go wrong. And even with the greenhouse, something can still go wrong, like an armadillo can get in there or the chickens could sneak in there if they really wanted to. But in my situation, it's going to save me a lot of headache and a lot of space in my dining room. So I'm really excited about it. It's like it always sneaks up on me. Does that happen to y'all? Spring always sneaks up on me and I always feel like I'm so prepared until like right now that I'm like, oh, I have a lot of stuff to do. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to spend the rest of the evening making some more soil blocks, starting a second round of seeds for the spring and probably adding in some soil around the girls' playground because they're gonna get some flowers in their playground this year. There's a couple things that I know for sure I need to get done. Um, adding more soil into all of our in-ground beds. I just need to top them off with soil and compost. I need to work in a couple areas with the tiller because there's a lot of that thick clay still um, at the surface. So I need to work some of that soil in before I can even plant. I definitely need to finish wrapping the enclosed garden with the bird netting just in case the chickens are out one day free ranging. Um, they won't be able to get in there. All the rest of the garden, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with because y'all know if you have free range chickens, they free range and your garden is part of that range. So I have a really annoying task that I need to accomplish of finishing their chicken run, which for me is not really exciting right now because lumber is so expensive and i'm not looking forward to spending that chunk on a chicken run so if any of y'all have any shortcut ideas that i can save some money on with this greenhouse that would be great the sun feels so good on my face so yeah i have i have some things that i need to do before i could get anything in the ground so y'all pray for me
because my my last frost date is the 25th of March and that is quickly approaching. I want to be able to throw all my zinnia seeds, all my kohlrabi, all my greens, all my spinach. I want to be able to throw that all in in 11 days. So y'all pray for me, okay? That's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to chat with y'all. Papa's chasing the chickens. Papa, no! This is an everyday thing. And that's another reason why I need to get the chicken run done because they don't get along. <laughs> My Great Dane and the chickens, they don't. Papa's always chasing them around the yard. So yeah, y'all, thanks for, there go Big Worm. He's He does not like that. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today, guys. As always, keep loving life, keep growing your own food and grand rising to all.